Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Isabel Bedoya and Eden the Doll cheating scandal. This video was highly, highly requested by you guys. In fact, I haven't received this many requests for a video since the Thruple divorce. Now, I know my videos usually come out later than others. However, this one is later than late as I've been experiencing issues with my laptop. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what I've been dealing with. But anyway, I was able to get this portion complete before having to take it in for repair. So I thought I'd get this out in the meantime, the rest will have to wait until I get it back. I really apologize for that, but I do have the entire story in full detail as well as some exclusive tea that none of the other channels were privy to. So let's jump right into it because the tea is hot. Okay, so being that I've never spoken of Isabel or Eden on my channel, let me provide you with some basic background on them as well as some of the others I'll be referring to throughout the video. Isabel Bedoya is a 22-year-old beauty influencer with 2.7 million followers on Instagram and 265,000 subscribers on YouTube. Isabel is married and has a four-year-old son with her husband, Edgar. Being that her son is a minor, I will not be sharing his name or his photo in this video. Eden the Doll is a 21-year-old model with 197,000 followers on Instagram Instagram and 167,000 subscribers on YouTube. She is transgender and has used her platform to document and share her experience with respect to her transition. I'll link her YouTube channel in an article on her story covered by the Daily Mail in the description box below for those interested. FYI, any transphobic or inappropriate comments left on this video will be deleted and you will be blocked. I have zero tolerance for hate and or ignorance relating to the LGBTQIA plus community on my channel. Anyway, Eden's now ex-boyfriend is 20-year-old Malik. McBride. Other than being a cheater, I don't know what his claim to fame actually is, if anything at all. Okay, so now that we're familiar with everyone, let's get into the real tea. So, back in the beginning of March, BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics held a brand trip in Punta Mita, Mexico. My understanding is that Eden was invited by BoxyCharm and Isabel was invited by Pure Cosmetics. Interestingly, when BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics sent out their itinerary, including a list of influencers attending on this brand trip, Isabel was not named as an attendee. As you can see, and I'm just gonna redact the influencers full names and replace them with the ones they go by on social media just in case their full name isn't public knowledge as I'm not totally familiar with every one of them so we have Aliyah J styled by Ale Alejandra XOXX Alyssa Ashley Angel Marino Cameron Polito Kristen Dominique makeup by Denise Eden Estrada aka Eden the doll Edgar's makeup Ellery makeup by Griselda Haley Barber Jackie Ina JD Wadey Jamie Genevieve Jasmine Brown Karen, aka I Love Sarai, Raw Beauty Christie, Miriam Maquillage, Mel Joy, Stephanie Leda, and Yasmin, aka Beauty Bird. Initially, Isabel was not invited on this trip. My understanding is that she had her manager email Pure's PR team, and in addition to promising to post photos of the trip, her manager also had to name drop saying that Isabel was quote unquote best friends with Kristen Dominique in order to get her in. I say quote unquote best friends for reasons we'll discuss later in the video. Just in case you're unfamiliar with how these brand trips work, influencers are invited, usually with a plus one. Some influencers are paid by the companies to attend on these trips and some are not. It really depends who you are. Influencers typically follow an itinerary outlined by the brands such as the one provided by Pure and BoxyCharm. To influencers, these brand trips are or should be considered as quote unquote work. Being that Eden is new to the beauty community, this was her first brand trip and she took her boyfriend as her plus one. On the day of their departure for Mexico, they arrived at the airport and attempted to check in for their flight. According to Eden, their flight was through Delta and their policy is that you cannot check in for your flight in the last hour prior to departure. So for example, if your flight leaves at 10 a.m., you would have to check in prior to 9 a.m. in order to get through. They go to check in and Eden successfully checks Malik in, but by the time she got to herself, she had missed the one hour cutoff time and was unable to get on that flight. Eden instructed Malik to go on that flight ahead of her and she would find another way to get there. The earliest flight out was departing from Tijuana, so she Ubered two hours from LAX to Tijuana Airport. From the Tijuana Airport, she flew out to Mexico City where she waited for eight hours attempting to sleep on the floor of the airport before her flight finally took off to her destination. She finally arrives in Punta Mita, which was approximately 15 hours after her boyfriend got there, opened the door to their room to find Malik passed out drunk on the bed, which made her super upset as not only was he a representation of her being her plus one, he also hadn't been answering her text messages, the room was a disaster, and he had been thrown 
throwing up everywhere. Anyway, after a bit of a rough start, by day three of the trip, Eden had put everything aside and she and Malik were carrying on as a normal couple would, kissing, holding hands, taking pictures, etc. So on day three, Eden and Malik attend the karaoke party that Pure and Boxy Charm had set up for everyone. Apparently, everyone was having a good time drinking, dancing, singing karaoke, etc. When Eden notices that one of the girls she had met earlier was dancing on Malik, which she says she didn't think much of at the time, as she trusted her boyfriend and the girl appeared to be super drunk. When I say super drunk, we're talking allegedly 15 shots in. Obviously, the girl dancing with Malik was Isabel, and by the way, Eden hadn't met Isabel prior to this trip, nor did she even know who she was. The first time they met was at the pool the day Eden arrived at the resort. Other than that, and briefly snapping together earlier on, there was no contact between them. Anyway, as I was saying, Isabel was dancing on Malik, and Isabel's husband, Edgar, goes over to Eden to chat. I'll insert a clip from Eden's video outlining her conversation with Edgar. But throughout the night, um, I remember like she was dancing on him, and like her boyfriend comes up to me, and, he, and he's like, "Hey, how are you?" And I'm like, "Oh, hi." And he's like a really like small, like five foot six guy. I'm like in heels, so I'm basically like six foot two. But then, and he's like, "Is that your boyfriend?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then he asked me like, "Do you trust him?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." Like there's like I'm like they're just like everyone's just drunk, you know. Like there's no, there's nothing to worry about. He was basically like showing me pictures of like their baby. Literally like five minutes after that, we ended up like you know separating and. So, as Eden was saying, they separate, and a short while later, Isabel approaches Eden, and I'm going to insert another clip from Eden's video where she describes the confrontation. Okay, so this, this girl, the one that was dancing on him, comes up to me, and she's like, why are you talking to my man? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, I saw you talking to my man, why are you talking to my man? And I'm like, are you okay? Like, I'm like, I'm like are you really, like, coming up to me? And she's like, why are you talking to my man, bitch? She, he don't like trannies. He don't like trannies. Why are you talking to him? And I was like, like, I literally at that point, I was like, oh my God, like, is this really happening? This girl was up on me trying to dance with me earlier and be nice and shit. And like, out of nowhere, she's just like coming up to me trying to like fight. And she's like, she's like, you want to talk to my man fucking square up, bitch? Square up. What's up? What's up, bitch? I was literally like in shock because one, I've never really been in a fight before and two, like, I'm just like, like literally all around us are like people like pure and boxy around people and i'm like we're at work girl like what what's going like are you fucking kidding me like i'm not interested in your bo your boyfriend's here to me i'm not interested in him and in other words she's like oh bitch i know you bitch like no fuck you like no let's fucking fight right now let's square up fight let's fight bitch and i'm just like i'm like honey like and she just starts going like this to my face basically and like um she by the way this girl's like fucking four foot ten she's literally going like this i notice like i look like middle second i look around me and i'm just like oh my god people are starting to notice and i'm i literally i'm like i grab her by the shoulders i'm like girl we're at work don't do this you're drunk literally i was like i'm like you're drunk before before i could even blink she like swings and she start like she literally swings and starts to start to swing at me and like this like she was drunk so this is me like she's just missing my face and then, like, I just can feel, like, this all happened in, like, five seconds. But I can, I can literally feel everyone staring. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this is not happening. Like, this is not happening to me. Like, this is literally going to ruin everything for me. I, I didn't want to hit her. But I had to react somehow. And before I knew it, like, she was just, like, trying to throw punches. And I just grab her wig and I just take it out and yank it. And um, that's when everyone just, like... Like, if someone was holding a drink, it dropped. Everyone was just gagged. Everyone was just like, oh, my God. And by then, I threw the wig. And then she just stormed at me. She's literally there in the middle of the dance floor with the fucking wig cap on bald. And I'm just like, and I'm literally just like this. And everyone's just like this. And then by then, she just storms at me. And all the other guys that were there just grab her. And, um, like, she's just, like, like, calling names and stuff. And just, like, like basically saying she's going to kill me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
And I'm just, like, sitting there, like, in shock. And that basically made the party end. And they, like, escort her away. Like, these guys, like, take her to her room. Now, apparently, Pure and Boxy Charm witnessed the whole thing and obviously took Eden's side. One of my sources told me that the Pure team was especially angry being that Isabel was essentially invited by them and that a representative for Pure was heard yelling at Isabel saying, you need to go. After Isabel was taken to her room, my understanding is that she was banned from all activities and told that she had to stay in her room until they found her a flight home. Home, which I assume they did at some point. Interestingly, in Eden's video, she indicates that she was told by the other girls on the trip that this isn't the first time that Isabel has done this. But all the other girls were telling me that she's been, she was dancing on, on, on all their boyfriends all night too. Now, Eden didn't name any names, but my sources tell me that Isabel tried to get with Chris and Dominique's man, among others. The most shocking of which was the CEO of BoxyCharm, who, by the way, was not having any of it. Isabel's reputation in the industry is that of a hoe? allegedly, and just an overall trashy person. Another piece of inside info is that she was actually banned from attending Benefit's brand trip in Utah for threatening to fight J.D. Wadey. So I'm gonna leave it there for now as we've covered the background and initial confrontation. In part two, we'll discuss everything that went down at BeautyCon, which is where Eden was finally made aware of what really happened between Isabel and Malik. I apologize for having to break this up. I'm hoping to get my computer back in the next two days, at which point I can then upload part two ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at here for the T2, and I'll talk to you guys again soon in part two. Bye!